Hey, hello everyone. I am Anand, the fitness educator. So, welcome back. Hope you enjoy our last routine and thank you so much for your awesome feedbacks. So, today in collaboration with the health card, we bring a really awesome workout for lower body. So, it's full workout with body weight only. So, we have few uh, things to use with as a external load. So, today I have two things. I have kettlebell, one kettlebell. Then I have a break. So uh, I'll give you the op option as well. I try to teach you or explain you the maximum benefit of the particular movement. And my objective for today to educate your right movement pattern and your responsibility to perform well with the safety and enjoy the muscle tension for maximum benefit. So let's start now. So today uh, our body is here. We have four exercises with the combination again means we have eight exercise. We have again 10 to 15 repetition and we have set two to three. So I'm going to perform two set for each exercise after the warm up. Then we uh, do the cool down and stretches and done. So enjoy that next 20. Uh, so now is the less. So next few more days uh, locking down. So we are set, but anyhow, we can get the much benefit. So let's start with the warm up. So today we have lower body concentration exercise. So we have lots of squat, we have some lunges and deadlift. So let's start with the jump. Easy jump on the toes. Feel relaxed, breathe neutrally, side to side. Make sure your all joints are relaxed and safe. Front jack. One. Fifteen to twenty front jacks. Look at from the sides. Now chain Caesar will pull your elbow back. Switch on your whole body. Getting warm up. Easy, feel relax again. Quick, next side to side. You can start. Mobilization from the top or from the bottom, up and down. So, our more concentration on the lower body. So, shoulder quick. Switch. Relax, half rotation from torso. Turn your heel outside and feel relaxed. Swing your arm side to side, just half inch from your hip. Stay, hop, music will play. So it's internet issue. Let's see, my subordinate will check. Release now the very important for the torso rotation. So make a big circle or keep your arms away, just the hip. Mobilize your hip, your lumbar core, your lower back and switch. Easy. Awesome, now hamstring. One feet to the front, reach to the toe, hinge from your hip, then come back and switch. Last time we did it. Change. Stay, stay, stay. Change. Side. Side to side. Wait, easy squat. Easy hinge from your hip. See from the side. When you get warm up, so slightly deeper. Keep your chest up, knees for the toe direction. Switch, front side. Down and hold. Now place your arms on the ground, 
feet slightly wide, sit right or left, and switch. Switch on your back thigh, your hip, your quads. After a few repetitions, then the flexor, right or left. Switch. So we have music issue. You can play any music on the background or if you do not have music just enjoy the sweat without now the last one again as usual jumping jack let's go few repetition release now warm up kalas so we have exercised Again, we have four exercises with the combination means total eight exercise. So we are going through the combination. First exercise we have frog squat. So which will help you to mobilize and strengthening your muscle and give you awesome release from your lower back, from your glutes and the quads. With this combined with the body weight squat. So we have 15 body weight squat. So we'll perform two rounds. So we have option two to three or you can add on more. It's up to you. So let's start with the strands. So how to do frog squat. So feet, shoulder width apart. So place your elbow inside the kneecaps, chest lifted, and push your knees slightly outside with your elbow. Chest feel proud, shoulder roll and back. Now bring your hips up and slow down. It's only 10. So go slow, you decide your range. If you have quite stiff muscle, it will help you to release. Four, Five, six, seven, breathe neutrally, eight, nine, ten, and release. Please come up. Second exercise we have body weight squat. So again, your feet, shoulder width apart, stand really heavy, knees soft. So arms, keep it where you feel comfortable, in front of your chest. Arms close, elbow close to the ribs as well. You decide your own strands. So, but bring your hip back and sit above the kneecaps and push the ground with spine neutral with exhale. Inhale, breathe out. Slow and smoother. You decide your tempo. Four, five, smooth. Again. Full range of motion. And you can manipulate your intensity with add on the load or go with the range and slow tempo. Three more. Three, two, one, up and relax. Now again you have 45 second rest around. In between, you think about your manipulation, means how to add more intensity or you can reduce it. So according to your fitness goal, you can decide. So back to the first exercise, the frog squat. So let me show you from 45 degree of angle. So you can see, this lies easily. So sit heavy, chest lifted, elbow place inside the kneecaps, and knee slightly push it out. Chest lifted now, bring your hip toward the ceiling. Exhale, slow down, inhale. Breathe out, in. You feel lots of tension into the quadriceps after a few reps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Come up. Good job, everyone. So stay together, stay strong, feel comfortable. So, start for 15 rotation again. Feet shoulder width apart. Chest lifted up, brace, hip neutral, brace the abs, hip bring it back above the kneecaps, drop it down and push the ground. Feet connected, let's go, 15 repetition now. Inhale, exhale, breathe out. Ah, keep your spine balanced, you can push your hip back to concentration more your hip. If you concentration on your quadriceps, keep your spine neutral, push your knee to the front. Just above the kneecaps. 
above the toe. Exhale. Knee and toe. Align all the time. Up. About five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Up. Exhale. And feel relax. Two round kalas. So you can add on one or two round more according to your fitness level and according to your fitness goal. Now recovery time. So let me get some water in between. So let's shift it to the exercise number two with a combination. With exercise three and four. So in this time we have 20 body weight lunge with alternate bases. Then we have 10 hip bridge. You can use the mat or you can use the ground if clean. My focus to teach you the great movement within this limited time frame. So get the right movement, focus on the good posture and enjoy the intensity. Okay, keep your arms to the side or close to your body. Take a long stride back, drop your back knee down under the hip, come up, step in and switch. Back, drop, up, switch. Back, drop, up, three. Exhale when you come up. Up, inhale, exhale. Six. Your front knee over the toe all the time. Your back heel all the way up. Abs quite tight. Chest lifted. Solid strance. Again, eight more. Step back. Drop. In. Step back. All the time, try to keep your knees soft for great stability and awesome action. Four more to go. Back, down, up, step in, back, down, up. Two more. Last one. Step, down, up, step in and relax. Now, you have 30 to 40 or 45 second rest. Then ready for the exercise number two. So it's a hip bridge. So this time, you just lie down on the ground gently. The arms close to the hips, side to the thighs. Heel close to the hips. Neck relax and stabilize. Now you bring your hip toward the ceiling with the exhale and slow down with easy tempo. Let's go. We have only 10 reps. Abs in, strong position, let's go. Up, exhale. Inhale. Yes. You can keep your hips slightly off from the ground to activate your more muscle. That's also an option. Breathe out. Your full feet connect over the ground. Exhale. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One and slow down so it has number of options to manipulate your intensity you choose your option or you will ask lots of questions from us so you can drop a message or a text to us so this time again take rest for 30 or 40 or 45 seconds don't worry for the exercise number three again means first exercise round number two we have lunch so this time let me show you from the sides so you stand heavy Take a long stride back, drop your back knee down, come up, step in, knee soft all the way. Drop, up, in, back, drop, up, in, back, drop, up, again, back, drop, up. Your front knee, just over the toe all the way. Front side. Another side, back, down, up, step in, back, down, up, step in, back, down, up, four more, back, drop, up, three, back, drop, up, step, back, drop, up, again, last one. 
and release. Good job, everyone. So now, exercise number two with the combination hip bridge. So again, you lie down. So this side, take care about your most stability. Heel close to the hip, lower back down, arms to the side, neck, all the way connected. As in, now bring your hip toward the ceiling and breathe out. Inhale down. Breathe out. Breathe in. Your knees or the toe all the time. Focus on the good tempo. Good rhythm. And good muscle engagement. It's for hamstring, your hip, on the lower back. Last two. Last one. Slow it down. Relapse. Breathe. Now come up. Good job, everyone. So we have second combination is Kalas. Again, you have 45 second recovery and prepare for the combination number three. So this time also we have only one exercise. With the two combination, we have kettlebell or the brick deadlift with the front squat. So uh, I have two rounds. One round I will show with the brick, so it will help you to connect. Then second round go with the kettlebell. So take some water back to the station. Feel free and keep smiling in between and enjoy your muscle tension with nice control. Okay, rest, almost collapse. So let's start with the brick. So this time hold the brick. I don't know the how much KZ is, so more important is the movement. So this time stand heavy, keep your hip and your heel aligned. Abs in, chest lifted, shoulder roll on back, chin parallel to the ground, and stand really heavy there. Awesome strides. Now hinge from your hip, reach down to the shin. Now slow come up and hold front squat easy the lift come up hold with the front squat to wrap down up easy come up inhale exhale inhale exhale four make sure all the time your posture is quite important keep your spine neutral let me show you from the side sit back reach catch drop up and reset again same thing bring your hip back reach to the shin come up with spine balance, push. Your knees and toe must be in one line. Five more. Reach down. Come up. Again. Check your tempo. When you keep your load under the chin, rest close to the ribs and under the chin as well. Two more. And keep the load close to the body all the way. Release. Now rest for about 45 seconds or one minute. So in second round, we are going to use the kettlebell. It's really awesome tool. Will help you with a lots of weight. So you can do much much thing with this load. So take rest, take some water or recover, shake your legs, switch on your whole muscle. It's a fully body exercise, full body weight exercise. It's not body weight actually. You are going to use additional load. What is the whole body workout? So you are using your every part of your body. So let's start with the kettlebell. Stand heavy, hip down. So let's start now. Reach down, catch, squat. Again, reach down, quick catch or you decide your own motion back or knees follow the toe direction keep your spine balanced all the way 
up. From the sides, bring your hip back, spine balance. Use the hamstring, the glutes. Only five more. Keep the load close to the body. Breathe neutral. Solid grip. Awesome control. Two more. Last one. Come up. Up and stop. Release. Let me keep the kettlebell away as well. Okay, awesome. Now you have about one minute recovery, 45 seconds to one minute. So let's finish with the last combination. Then we have cool down. So last combination, we have jumping squat, which will help you keep your intensity slightly up. So making the blood flow really fast into the muscle. Which is good, which is good. So, are you ready? With two options. One is of course yes, second is yes. So again, the neutral stance, you decide. You can go with the wide, slightly to focus on the back thigh and the glutes more. Or you can go with the neutral with the quadriceps more. Or the middle grip with the whole leg. So you decide. Breathe, only the 15 jump squat. So make sure you're landing is quite comfortable and controlled so let's start three two one drop one two three focus on the whole leg This time you can see I talk less because this time intensity was slightly up, so you can talk less, just more focus. So we have calf raise. So let's use this step. Use this step. Keep the step slightly closer or this way. So you can hold, take the support and keep your toes over the platform heel slightly off stand really tall and drop your heel down weight in the calf now you push from the toe and keep your spine all the way neutral so all focus the calf muscle exhale you can keep your knees soft and bring your hip back so it will give you more intensity for the calf so only the calf three four your grip should be solid. Five. Awesome. Six. About to finish. Seven. Bring your knee over the ankle. Eight. Without any power. Nine. Ten. And what is? Awesome. So step. Slowly back side. Again. Last combination, 15 jump, jump squat. This look really compromising. It's really awesome to keep your intensity up and reduce the muscle tension. So ready, three, two, one, 15 jump squat. Middle, whole leg, drop. One, two, three, four, five, Is awesome. Now heart rate going up. So again, last one. The calf raise. Again, sit down. Find out the best way. Easy. Keep yourself close and solid. So less recovery in between. So keep the intensity up 
and use the more muscular engagement. Swipe slowly back and push. Slow down. Ten. Nine. Again, it depends on the tempo. We have lots of variation. Go with the single leg, double leg. TUT means time and attention. So you can use it according, according to your fitness goal. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And Kalas. Breathe out. Step bound. Awesome team. Keep the step. Away, oh, shake your legs. So now I have rest for one minute. Then we have stretches. Inhale, exhale. Get some water in between. So you have about one minute to recover. Control on your intensity. Okay, when you get comfortable, if you do not have any joint tissue, so you can bend your knees and sit down your heel. It will give you quite decent stretch on the quadriceps. Look at from the side. Or you can slightly go back. Feel more stretch on the quadriceps. Release with this. So slightly on the flexor. Push. Front knee slightly outside. Two out. Feel this flexor stretch. And obliques as well. Release. Come back. Opposite side. Look at from the front. Knee over the toe. Keep flexor. Knee slightly outside, hold, left arm up, and move towards the right. Feel such in your obliques as well. Release, come back, again, deep squat position. From squat, place your elbow inside the kneecaps and push your knees outside all the way. Keep breathing without feeling set in your inner thigh. Keep your chest up, spine neutral. Now place your arms on the ground and bring your hips up toward the ceiling. You can hold your toe if you have good flexibility, or you can hold your ankle. Now slow, come up. Release quadriceps, right or left, both knees together. Quadriceps. Release from the side, heel to the butts, knees together, stand tall, take some support. Release. Now hip stretch. Take a left step slightly away. Right knee soft and push your hip. Back side. Or 45 degree of angle. Push your arms away. Slow release. Same thing to the opposite. Right feet. Left knee. Take back. Arms push it away. Release. Now slightly on calf. If you have any support, put your toe up. Heel down. Then shift your body toward the pillar or the wall. Feel set in the calf. Slow release. Slowly release. Shake your leg, shake your arms, and health our team. Really, really thankful for your great support and your execution. So guys, we are really thankful to you also for your wonderful comments and your feedback. So see you in the next workout routine for home. Thank you so much. Good night.